We have been in a housing shortage here lately for the past several years, which means as demand rises, the prices do as well. 2 News anchor Adam Reif explains how that trend affects those buying and selling in this consumer alert. This year, we started to see more listings and prices easing, but that may be short-lived. Supply is expected to drop again this fall and potentially hit a new low, according to Realtor.com. Inventory gains began to slow this year from 6.4% growth in January to 5.8% in February. Gains continued to slow throughout the spring, and supply was up just 2.8% annually in June. It's now expected to flatten over the next three months and could hit its first decline in October of this year. Of course, all real estate is local. The housing shortage is worsening in smaller, more affordable markets like Memphis, Richmond, Raleigh, Pittsburgh, and Oklahoma City, according to Redfin. But in pricier markets where demand has fallen off, like San Jose, Seattle, Denver, Chicago, or Boston, the supply of homes for sale is increasing. A looming shortage could help the home builders, but they still need to either lower prices or build more entry-level homes because that's where demand is strongest and supply is leanest. Adam Reif, 2 News, working for you.